Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Peace out of your feet and receive the woman's court. as we have our united prayer.
thank you, Lord, what you're just doing, Lord. We want every heart to pray. Every heart to pray. Every heart to pray. Every heart to pray. We touching and agreeing on this morning. You said we're the backbone of the church. We touching and agreeing on this morning. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as once again we come before you as humble as we know how. Come before you with bow down head, Father God, to give thanks unto you for all your many wonderful and gracious blessings. We thank you, Father God, for this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for bringing us through, Lord God, on last night as we slumbered and slept all throughout the night, Lord God. Father God, we come right now, Lord God, praying that, Lord God, you remember the saints of the Most High God, those who are standing for the, Lord God, for your word, Lord God, those who are holding up the bloodstained banner, those who are not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you right now, Father God, right now, Lord God, for allowing us to be in this place on this morning, Lord God. We thank you for those, Lord God, who are watching us, Lord God, live, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, praying that's right now, Lord God, that you touch those, Lord God, who are sick in the body. Remember those who are sick and shut in, Lord God, on today, Lord. Stop by right now and touch their broken and wounded body. Father God, remember Mother Harris this morning, Lord God. Father God, we want you to go by and touch her body, Lord God. Heal and deliver in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, we pray and that's right now, Lord God. That we'll go by and remember Sister Paulette Jackson. Go down on 43rd Street right now, Lord God. The enemy's a mean man, but we don't give him no glory. Father God, we rebuke him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. But say we stump you beneath our feet right now. We command thee to get thee hits behind God's people right now. In the name of Jesus, touch her broken and wounded body right now, Lord God. You said that you're the Lord, that God that heals thee. You're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. There's nothing too hard for you, Lord God. Father God, you sit high and you look low. You're able to reach way down and pick her up, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we pray in us right now. Now, Lord God, that you heal and deliver right now. Restore back her mind, Lord God. Restore back her speech, Lord God. Restore back her walk in the name of Jesus. Father God, touch right now in the blessed name of the Lord. Father God, remember our pastor right now. Father God, her husband, Lord God, one that's standing by her side, the one that's crying out, Lord God. Father God, hear our prayer. Hear our humble plea on this morning. Father God, we need you right now. Saints are going through, Lord God. We know that enemy come none but to steal, kill, and to destroy. But you are a greater God than that. Father God, there's nothing too hard for you. There's nothing that you can't do. You told us to look into the hills from which cometh all our help, for all our help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Father God, we speak unto the mountains in our life right now, commanding the mountain to be removed. Father God, anybody name who signed on the roll at this place, Father God, we pray in healing right now. We pray in deliverance right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, sit down the anointing. It's the anointing that destroyed the yoke. Break every yoke of bondage and bind up and cast out every foul and evil spirit trying to come up against God's people. Father God, let your spirit take its free course in this place. Walk all up and down the aisles of the sanctuary and pull your Shekinah glory out on your people. Father God, we need you right now. Send more of your power right now, Lord God. Send more of your anointing right now, God. Send more of your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we know that doctor can't do it. The doctor can operate, but we know that you do the healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal our broken and wounded bodies right now. Father God, stop by and see about your people. We're calling on you right now, Lord God. All power's in your hands. Father God, in heaven and in earth, Father God, there's nothing that you can't do. Father God, we pray in us right now, Lord God, that you search our mind, search our thoughts right now. If there be anything like you, Lord God, that shouldn't be, bind it up and cast it out and back into the pit of hell from which you came. Search our hearts this morning, Lord God. If there be anything that's not like you, we want you to remove it right now. Turn 
Cleanse us with his of Lord God, and we shall be clean. Wash us, Lord God, we shall be made whiter than snow. Bind us close together under one great big band of love. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us walk hand in hand. Let us walk arm in arm. Let us stand together and walk in the liberty wherewith you have made us free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, you said this, Lord God, shall men know that ye are my disciples, that we have loved one for another. In the name of Jesus Christ, teach us and show us how to love in the blessed name of the Lord. Teach us and show us how to be more concerned. Let us remove all isms and schism, Lord God, that we may work together, Lord, for you're told to go in the vineyard and work while it is day. When nighttime cometh, no man shall be able to see how to work. Father God, we want to work for you, Lord God. We want to do a great work. Anoint our lips of clay, Lord God, that we might be faithful witnesses, that we might testify to your goodness. That's Father God, we pray, and that's right now, that you anoint our ears of clay so we can hear your voice when you speak to us. Let us hear, Lord God, when the angel speaks to the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Anoint our eyes with our salve and remove the scale so we shall be able to see when the enemy trying to rise up against us. We know we're in turmoil. We know we're in the midst of the storm. There's a storm raging all around us. But Father God, you're able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the presence of your glory with exceedingly joy. Father God, you can do anything but fail by these two immutable things that you can't do. You can't lie and you can't go against your word. Father God, you are king of kings, Lord of lords. You're the first, the last, the beginning, the ending, Alpha and Omega, Lord God. He that was, he that is, and he that is yet to come. Father God, little battle axe in a time of war, a shot in a time of storm. In the name of Jesus, you're a bridge over troubled water right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're saints are calling upon you. We need you. We're leaning and depending on you. If you don't stop by and do it, Lord God, it won't be done. There's nothing man can do, Lord God, but it's through your power, it's through your grace and your mercy that we are standing here today. You have given us new mercies on this morning. Thank you for new mercy, Lord God. Thank you for another opportunity to stand in our presence. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us a hand to hold and a shoulder to lean on. Father God, you said one day you're going to wipe all the tears from our eyes. We're going to dwell in your heavenly kingdom. Every day going to be Sunday. We're going to lift our voice, Lord God, and give your name glory. 24 angels around the throne crying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we want to sit down at you your feet, Lord God, and give your name glory. Father God, you inhabit the praises of your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Father God, we pray and ask right now. Father God, you anoint our pastor, Lord God. Comfort his heart right now, Lord God. He knows all things are in your hand, Lord God. Father God, the only thing he can do is pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear his prayer. Hear his cry right now, Lord God. Father God, let the saints surround him, Lord God. Let us come together and stand behind him, that we might continue, Lord God, to pray the prayer of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, bless the choir that's going to sing. Bless the musicians who are going to play. Father God, if there be any, Lord God, who are listening to us over the airway, Lord God, touch their heart, Lord God. Let them come around and ask him, what must I do to be saved? Father God, if you do these things for us, Lord God, if you bind us together, Lord God, that we might bind the hand of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ, we won't forget to give your name praise. We won't forget to give your name glory. We won't forget to lift your name up on high. Because all praise and all of belong to you. In Jesus' great name, we do pray. Come on, get a Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your will, Lord God, and not our will be done. Let your will be done in us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Make us vessels of honor, not vessels of dishonor. In Jesus' great name, you're worthy, Lord God. You're worthy, Lord God. 
Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord God. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to run on to the very last mile of the way. We got to go on, Lord, in your magnificent name. Trials and tribulations going to come. But if we just stand firm, stand fast in the liberty wherewith you have made us free. Hallelujah. 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 We can make it, Lord. We can make it. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heal, Lord. Heal, Lord. Heal, Lord. Hallelujah. Heal, Jesus. Continue to pray throughout the service. Let's usher in the spirit of the Lord on today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you. Hey. As we continue standing. We're going to be coming from the 124th Division of Psalms. have it, say amen. amen. Let us read it together. It reads, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who had given us a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. I help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank the Lord for the 124th revision of songs. At this time, we'll have another selection from our beautiful woman chorus. Mm -hmm.
blessing me, the Lord is. He blessing me, the Lord is. He blessing you, the Lord is. Right now, He blessing me, the Lord is. The Lord is. The Lord is. The Lord is. He blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. The Lord is. The Lord is. He's blessing me. 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 Right now, he's blessing me. Right now, he's blessing me. He woke me up early this morning. He woke me up early this morning. The Lord is. The Lord is. The Lord is. The Lord. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He blessed me. He blessed me. He blessed me. He blessed me. Not on myself. He blessed me. Not on myself. He blessed me. He gave us air. Air to breathe. He blessed me. He blessed me. He gave us food. Food to eat. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. Yes. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. There's no doubt down in my mind. He's blessing.
Jackson, Mother Harris, good to see you back in today. Deacons, missionaries, saints, and friends, everyone tuning in on our various platform, and my husband. Welcome to True Vine Apostolic Church of Christ. We are located at 925 Old Buffer Road in the city of Hampton, Virginia. At this time, we would like to welcome our visitors. We have Sister Tasha Lucas, nephews and nieces, Morgan, Nathaniel, 
I'm sorry, Nathan, Ariel, Ariana, and Alana. Thank you for joining us on today. God bless you. We also happy to see Sister Peggy back in the house. God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Mr. Cutler, it's always a pleasure to have you. God bless you. It's good to see you, Mr. Pleasant. God bless you. And we're also happy to have Sister Young back in the house. God bless you. Amen. Let's give the visitors a hand praise. Thank you for joining us on today. Please, everyone, can you stand, join me in wishing our Mother Harris. Please, everyone, if you can stand, please stand. Today is Clergy Appreciation Day. Please let us say thank you to our pastor for his endeavor in serving us in Jesus' name. God bless you. Happy Clergy Appreciation Day, sir. Our announcements are as follows. On October 15th at 3 p.m. will be a baby shower for our sister, Derricka Banks. She is registered at babylist.com. That will be October 15th at 3 p.m. On October 22nd at 3 p.m., we'll be traveling to Mount Sinai Solid Rock Church where Bishop Sawyer is the pastor and it's his appreciation service. There's a sign-up list on the bulletin board in the hospitality room. Please sign up if you need, if you'll be attending, and if you need transportation, put a T in parentheses, that way we'll know who needs transportation. Again, if you'll be attending, sign up anyway, but if you need transportation, put a T in parentheses, that way we'll know who needs transportation. On October 30th will be our fourth pastoral anniversary kickoff service. Time to be determined. Please stay back, there'll be dinner served, and let us fellowship together on October the 30th for our fourth kickoff service, for our fourth pastoral anniversary service. There'll be a fan fun fundraiser. Please see Sister Wright for the purchase of your fans. The cost is $5. Again, for the fan fundraiser, please see Sister Wright, and the cost for that is $5. Please, all auxiliary heads, sign up. There's a sign-up sheet also in the hospitality room on the bulletin board. Sign up for a date in which you want to take your group pictures for our upcoming pastoral anniversary uh, booklet, uh, magazine. There are dates that are already up there, some people already taken. Sign up a date that's convenient. Everything will be done on a Sunday. So please sign up for the group picture. On next coming Sunday, after morning worship, ushers, the media team, and the Sunday school department, you'll be taking your pictures. So next Sunday, the media team, the ushers, and Sunday School Department, you'll be taking uh, your pictures. Please give all pledges to Brother Codwell, and he'll in turn give you a receipt. Our weekly service are as follows. Noonday prayer, Monday and Wednesday, 12 to 1 p.m. On this coming week, Youth for Christ and Junior Youth will be rehearsing tomorrow at, tomorrow at 6.30. The Junior Youth will be rehearsing, so please, parents, bring your children out to rehearsal. On Tuesday night, the missionaries and sisters will be rendering service. All missionaries, aides, and sisters, please wear all black with your pink corsages. Again, all missionaries, missionary aides, and sisters, please wear all black and your pink corsages. Wednesday night, Bible study at 7 p.m. Blessed are those who give of themselves. With warmness, thank you. Thanks for all your help. Thanks for all your, the calls. Thanks for all the visits. Thanks for all the food. Most of all, thanks for all your prayers. Love, Mother Harris. Please continue to pray for the sick and the shut-in. Pray for each other. Pray my strength in your Lord. Please govern yourself accordingly. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank God for the service thus far. Time is far spent. At this time, we're going to have another selection from our choir. Then we're going to take up the offer and get the preliminaries out the way. So the next voice you will hear will be our beloved Bishop Terry Jackson. Amen? Yes. In that order.
stand at this time with your ties and your offering in here. The basket where I'm standing, and to my far right where Deacon Jordan is standing, is for your ties and your general offering. The basket in the middle where Deacon Jackson is holding for a love offering for our pastor. If you, uh, actually, everyone, uh, stand to your feet at this time. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, come before you, Lord God, to bless this offering on today, Lord God. We ask you right now, Lord God, let it be for the upbuilding of your kingdom and your kingdom on me. We ask you right now, Lord God, bless those who have to give and those who don't have to give. We ask you right now, Lord God, to bless those all over the airwaves that are listening, that are, that are send theirs, Lord God. We ask you right now, Lord God, just to return it to them, some 30, some 60, some 100 to fold. In your precious name, Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Services are in the hands of the ushers at this time. Time we have another song by the choir.
Bless me, Lord. Come on, give God a praise. In the God is still in a blessing business. Still make a way out of nowhere. Lord Jesus, we thank you right now for blessing. We thank you for being so kind, so merciful to us right now. I realize it was you to walk us up this morning, closing our right mind, our activities of our day. Blood yet run the wound through our veins. You spare us to see another day that we won't see again. By your grace and mercy, God, we pray that you forgive us of our sins in and out of sins. Purge and create us a clean heart and renew the right spirit. We thank you right now, this afternoon, for an uh, opportunity to give you thanks and give you the praise and give you all the honor. Lord, we are praying for the sick and the shut in in the name of Jesus Christ. The people that tried to make it never could make it. God, you know the circumstance in your situation. You are a God that stands high and you look mighty low, praying right now that you touch, hallelujah, touch Jackson right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. We know that you're able to keep us from falling and present us fall before your presence. Anybody else, Lord, that's standing in your prayer, hallelujah, people that are watching us live, touch their heart, soul, and their mind, Lord, touch them in the name of Jesus. Somebody need to be saved. Somebody need to be going down in your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. But we will definitely give you the praise and honor. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Come on, give God one more praise. You can do a little bit better than that. Get on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of my faith, the beginning and the end and the alpha and the maker, which is, which was, which is to come, the Almighty God. Him alone, He stand alone. Without Him, I can't do nothing. I need Him every step of the way. Living in this last and evil days, this is Pearl's time have definite come upon us. Hallelujah to God. You think it's Paris time? Look at yourself and look at the situation in this world. So much killing going on. Young men is getting locked up in jail. Killing, robbing, stealing. Nobody really going to want to make no good earned living no more. They'd rather steal from you your earnings. But that is the world. That's the world. The world love is on. We in the world, but not of the world. The world is just like a sea. And we just in the middle of the sea. Hallelujah. God, people in the middle of the sea. But we got a sure anchor in the Lord. If you don't believe God is able, as be. I'm telling you, God is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask or think according to his power. And he going to do his will with you or without you. Jesus Christ that I serve is the same yesterday, today, and will be forevermore. He's a God that changes not. Hallelujah to God. He don't care about your status. He don't care how rich you are. He don't even care how poor you are. He's still God. Hallelujah to God. People have to learn with, to deal with certain situations. Life is life. Hallelujah to God. Some are getting caught in that net. And sometimes all of us get caught in the net. Right. The 
but nobody is exempt from getting by in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to be for you long. Say a few words because you ain't going no home. Mm -hmm. I've been mocking you. <laughs> other night I said, you look at that, mm-hmm. So I had the, had the congregation say, mm-hmm. They gonna be for you long, Mother Hurst, mm-hmm, right. You know I mean, just like your daddy, you love to talk. Well, thank God I'm a, I'm, thank God I'm, a, I'm his son. <laughs> so, so you, you always say, the apple don't fall far from the tree. All right, then. You had Bishop, you got another one. <laughs> so you should be quite used to it. But I guess you ain't. <laughs> I still catch you off guard. <laughs> he used to catch us off guard, too. You, know I mean? you think you're going home, you ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have it at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Still talk about the goodness of the Lord. <laughs> like he had nothing else to do. Bishop, you retire, Ann. <laughs> well, I got a, I got a, a, a little bit more uh, 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 ammunition than Bishop have on this aspect. I haven't retired. And I'm still here. So you can't complain because I still got to get up and go to work the next morning too, just like you do. <laughs> so, so, so the excuse tree is shut down from the pulpit to the back, ain't it? Bishop, you, 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 you can retire, you can go to sleep. We got to go to work in the morning. Ah, I ain't got to, I can't say them words. I'm still working. I mean, since Jackson ain't here, but I still got to work. Hallelujah. I told somebody the other day, no disrespect to you and anybody else. Church is above all of y'all. Yeah, church is above all of y'all. Church is first. There's no dis I hate to disrespect you. If you take it in the kind of way you want to take it, believe what I say. You ain't got nothing compared to church. Church is above you and everybody else. Because I know where my help come from. Without church, it won't be no Jackson. Maybe y'all don't, don't feel like that. If it won't be no Jackson, it won't be no, if it won't no church, it won't be no Jackson. Jackson won't be here. If it won't for church. You think about it, beloved, the world won't be here if it won't for church. All the reason why the world is still here because of church folks. That's right. That's right. If everybody was wicked, God would been cut you off. But he keeping us here because of church folks. Giving everybody the opportunity to get it right. Because when you stand before a just God, ain't no excuse you can say. Hallelujah. Give me Hebrews, the 10th chapter. been a tiresome week, rough week, but it's still life. You can't change life. You have to deal with life. You don't know what life going to present you, and you don't know what life going to come before you. You don't know nothing about the future. You don't know nothing. It's all in the hands of the Lord. Hebrews is 10th chapter, and we're going to begin reading at the 35th verse. Don't 
won't be long. Give me 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and I'll be out of here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I can see them eyes through them glasses, too. <laughs> you blessed to believe that. <laughs> okay, you do got glasses, so I still can see them eyes rolling up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Ah, I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm fool you. I'm gonna fool you. I'm gonna fool you. I'm gonna fool you. Hallelujah to God. God bless you, Tasha. Keep on praying. God bless you, baby. All right. We begin reading at the 35th verse, please. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Everybody got that? Cast not thou away, cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Which have great recompense of reward. Which have great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience. For you have need of patience. That after ye have done the will of God. After you have done the will of God. Ye might receive the promise. Ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while. For a little while. And he that shall come will he come. He that shall come will come. And will not tarry. And he will not tarry. Now the just. Now the just. Shall live by, shall faith. Live by faith. But if any man draw back. But any man that draw back. My soul shall have no pleasure. My in soul him. shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back. I hope you ain't the one that draw back. Unto perdition. Into perdition. But of them that believe. But of them that believe. To the saving to of the, the soul. To the saving of the soul. May God bless you to his reading of his word. Let it sink down your heart, soul, and your mind. This is going to leave with you uh, this afternoon. Don't lose confidence. Don't you dare lose confidence. Confidence. Confidence is something with great faith in oneself or one's ability, a state of mind in which one is free from all doubts. Assurance, certainty, sureness, firm believer in the integrity and the ability and the effectiveness and the genuineness of God. Your confidence has to be in the almighty God. He's the one that you can have depend on. He's the one that you have hope in. Hallelujah to God. You can't have no hope in man. You got to have confidence in God. And the time that we live it in, the devil want us to doubt God ability. He wants to doubt that God would not come to your rescue. He puts things on you and make you have a second thought about who you serving. But I'm here to give you some confidence today. Don't you lose no confidence in God Almighty. Hallelujah to God. He's able to do exceedingly what he wants to do. And sometimes in your life, you go through situations and things bogging you down and look like you don't have no more hope. But I'm here to tell you, there is hope. You can have confidence in God Almighty. He's able to do anything. He's able to keep you from falling. He's a God that stands high and he looked mighty low. And sometimes life and this living in that we're living in change your situation, change your pattern, change what you want to do into something that you really don't want to do. But I'm here to let you know, don't lose confidence. Don't you dare lose confidence. Hallelujah. 32nd verse says, but call to what? Remembrance. But call to remember. But call to remembrance. The former days. In the former days. In which after you were illuminated. After you were illuminated. 
ye endured a great fight. Holly, look at your Paul say, look at here. Don't you remember? I want you to remember something. Now. I want you to look, look. Matter of fact, we ain't got to go back to the Old Testament. Look back at your four parents. Go back to your folk parents uh, that endured, that were illuminated, uh, and do a great affliction. And you said to yourself, why you got to suffer like that? Why saints of God got to go through like that? But I'm here to let you know, remember, hallelujah, the former days uh, when they endure affliction uh, and they hold on to their integrity. Uh, hallelujah, remember. Hallelujah, that you endure a great affliction. Hallelujah, partly which you were what? Made what? A gazing stock. A gazing stock. Hallelujah. We both, don't, both by reproaches? Both, you the gazing stock. Both by reproaches and affliction. And affliction. And partly, and partly, whilst ye became companions, while ye became companions of them, of them that were so used, that were so used. <laughs> Hallelujah! Paul said we were skeptical. <laughs> Hallelujah to God! <laughs> Hallelujah! We were skeptical. We were just, he was just that God just used us. We was in the arena. Hallelujah! Like we being used. <laughs> about you uh, lie don't scandalize hallelujah uh, they said who God are you serving uh, why are you going through so much uh, why are you dealing with so much uh, don't God ain't love you don't God ever to bring you out but I'm here to let you know don't you lose your confidence uh, there is a greater reward a recompense uh, is waiting for you uh, what is recompense uh, conversation uh, you're going to get paid uh, the while uh, to your endurance uh, You'll get paid ha, after a while for your affliction. Ha. Hallelujah. Keep on ha, serving the Lord, ha, God Almighty. Ha. He will keep you in perfect peace ha, if your mind ha, just stayed on him. Ha. But I don't want you to lose ha, your confidence. Help me, Holy Ghost. Ha. I don't want you to lose ha, your confidence. Ha. Look like hell ha, is all around you. Ha. Look like you can't go back or forward. Ha. The devil ha, trying to destroy destroy you. Huh? Not only trying to destroy you, huh? he's trying to destroy your family, try to kill your children, huh? try to kill your integrity. But I'm here to let you know, huh? remember huh? the former days. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. What your four parents huh, had to go through huh, to get where you at now. Huh? If it wasn't for them, huh, you won't be here today. I know, I don't know, I don't know the person name, hallelujah, that sat in front of the bus. I don't know, was it Pa? Sat in front of the bus, hallelujah, huh? Sat in, the, sat in front of the bus, what in the back of the bus, what it, for the, huh? Huh, she took the blacks for the black folks. Hallelujah. Took a punishment for the black folks. Don't you know? Don't you know? I say, folks, it take a punishment. I, I know. I know you're doing that kind of stuff. I know that. I know it's all right. I know you're sitting in front of the bus now. Thank you, Jesus. But yet you're sitting in front of the bus, but you're not sitting in front of the church. They, hallelujah. I know you got black history month, but I need a Jesus month. Hallelujah. I know you got black history month. Hallelujah. Put my name on Jesus month. Hallelujah. Anybody name on Jesus month? Hallelujah to God. I thank God that I'm on the Jesus month. I might have been on the one that made you get on the front seat of the bus, but I'm the one that helped you get the Holy Ghost. I am the one that helped you to have eternal eternal life. I'm the one that uh, introduce you uh, to Jesus only. I'm the one uh, that stand around uh, and let you know uh, God is able. I'm the one uh, to introduce you uh, to a drug deliverer. I'm the one uh, who got to let you know about the alcohol deliverer. Hallelujah to God. I'm here to let you know don't you lose your confidence. In the Lord. 
Hallelujah. And certain situations uh, change you. Uh, death hits your door. Uh, sickness hits your house. Uh, and make you want to lose uh, confidence in God. Uh, and you said to yourself, why I got to go through much? God, I'm saved. Uh, I'm keeping my integrity. I'm doing the best of my ability. Uh, if anybody need to get sick, let that man outside get sick. Why you got to try to kill my wife? Why are you trying to kill my husband? Why are you trying to kill my children? I'm serving you, God, to the best of my ability. Why, 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 Lord? But I'm here to let you know. Don't you remember the old? Y'all have to cast that. Therefore, do you remember? Therefore, hold on to your integrity. Hold on just a little while longer. Hallelujah. Your recompense of reward is going to come. Don't you worry about I'm suffering a fish for a little while, but I'm a while if I just hold on just a little while longer and I don't lose my confidence holler he that shall come will come and he will not tarry but if I just hold on Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not the one that draw back to the petition. I'm not the one. I didn't go back into the world because you hit my house with sickness. I didn't go back. Hallelujah to God. I didn't go back. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I know you sent spies to my house. I know you sent 10 of them. Hallelujah, you sent 12 of them. Only two came out with a good report. The other one said, she going to die. Y'all ain't talking to me. Maybe I'm preaching to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the spies uh, that went over there told him that the spies uh, went there and told him Digger Tinsley. Hallelujah, Digger Tinsley, he can't get healed. <laughs> Nobody gonna touch his wife. Nobody gonna touch his children. Uh, but two came back and said, You could conquer it. Uh, hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. But they wander in the wilderness uh, for 40 years. Uh, hallelujah. Why they wander in the wilderness? Uh, so they can believe. Uh, hallelujah. But I didn't go back. Uh, I'm just like Joshua and Caleb. Uh, I stay right there. I believe. Who report are you gonna? believe. I'm born in the arms of the Lord. If the Lord don't do it, it won't be done. But I realize he didn't bring me in this wilderness to leave me now. He didn't break me out of Egypt to leave me in the wilderness. So what? I have to walk around for 40 years, but I'm going to stay right here because you made a promise to me that I'm going to make it to the promised land. And I know I can't see the promised land, but I know it's there. After a while, we were going to be all right. We're going to make it. After a while, God going to wipe the tears from your eyes. No more pain. No more sickness. No more death. Every day going to be a Sabbath day. Every day going to be like Sunday. Hallelujah. If I just hold on. I'm not going to lose confidence. I don't care what it looked like, yes, what it seems like. I'm not going to lose confidence in God Almighty. Hallelujah to God. Give me Hebrews, the third chapter. Hallelujah to God. Heart and natural heart as in the, in the vacation in the days of the temptation in the wilderness. When your father tempted me and proved me and saw me works, saw my works for 40 years. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said they do all error in their heart and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath that it should not enter in my rest. Take heed brother, least there be any one of you. You know where I'm at. I'm at the third chapter, beginning at the 12th. I'm at the 12th verse now. They say, Take heed, brother, at least there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief departing from the living God. Hallelujah to God. Don't you get caught up. 
don't you get caught up uh, looking at folks uh, falling uh, and going back. Uh, don't you get caught up uh, looking at somebody uh, who haven't been delivered. Uh, don't you get caught up uh, into that. Uh, you got to keep on believing God. Uh, hallelujah to God. The reason why they didn't make it to the promised land, uh, the Bible says because of what? Um, belief. Uh, hallelujah. It's safe. And when they swear that it should not enter into the rest, but to them that believe it's not. So we see that they could not enter because uh, of unbelief. Uh, hallelujah. For some, when they have heard did provoke how be it not. All that came out of Egypt by Moses uh, wasn't by Moses. Uh, hallelujah. Just people uh, just here in church uh, coming with the ride. Uh, coming with their blessing. Uh, but they really don't believe God. Uh, they still staggered on the promise, uh, but they realize we serve the God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that cannot lie. Uh, I need a son of man uh, that he should repent. Uh, he's a God uh, that make an oak on his own. Uh, he stand up uh, and he swear on his own uh, because they know higher. Uh, power huh, than him. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, when he step out huh, and said, let there be. Huh, and there it was huh, in the name of Jesus. Huh, I want God huh, to step out huh, and say, heal. Huh, and let it be healed. Huh, because there ain't no huh, higher thought. Huh, there ain't no higher huh, uh, power. Huh, I can't lose huh, my confidence huh, in the God Almighty huh, who made you. Huh, and not we ourselves. Huh, I can't lose uh, my confidence uh, in the man uh, that stands high. Uh, I can't lose uh, my confidence uh, who the one uh, that woke me up uh, early this morning. Uh, yet, uh, Paulette is sick, uh, but I can't lose uh, my confidence. Uh, he can swear on his own uh, and say, heal. <laughs> he can say, they know higher power. Thank God. Hallelujah. He told Abraham, Hallelujah, he promised, I'm going to multiply your seed in the name of Jesus. But don't stagger at the promise of God. Look at here. Let me tell you something. We as saints, I'm coming on in. We as saints, we got to be like the Shudamite woman. We need, to, we need confidence like the Shudamite woman. See, y'all don't have that confidence, but that's what we got to have, the confidence of the Shudamite woman. You know the story about the Shudamite woman? Hallelujah. He heard about the prophet always coming through the land. He told her husband, say, look, I need to build a room for this prophet. Uh, and he built the room uh, for the prophet. Uh, when the prophet came in, uh, he had somewhere to lay his head uh, and to read his book uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, but he asked the woman, uh, what do you need of me? Uh, I don't need nothing. Uh, I got everything. Uh, but I heard somebody say, she without child. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so God uh, told the prophet uh, of this day, uh, you shall uh, bring forth a son. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and she sent back a word. Uh, don't tell me nothing uh, that you cannot keep. Uh, don't tell me no lie now. Uh, if you tell me I'm going to have a child, uh, I believe what you say. Uh, but I'm here to let you know. Uh, don't lose confidence uh, in God Almighty. Uh, when he speak a word uh, in your life, uh, you about to believe it. Uh, she told the shooter, my woman, uh, you're going to bring forth a child. Uh, the Bible say uh, she brought forth the child. Uh, but one day, they was in the field working his head started hurting in the name of Jesus the Bible say she died he died hallelujah hallelujah she grabbed her son she didn't run him to the hospital she ran him to the prophet hallelujah she got on that horse and got to riding she believed God she believed in confidence God told her that she gonna have a son and she Sometimes uh, God give you a blessing uh, and the devil kill it. The devil uh, kill your confidence. Uh, he killed the promise. Uh, he thought he killed it. He thought 
like he killed the promise. Uh, and then you say, uh, why, God, uh, you give me something and take it away? Uh, no, uh, you don't lose your confidence. Uh, we got to be like a shooter, my woman. Uh, don't go to the hospital. Uh, run to the church. Uh, hallelujah. Get on that horse. Uh, get in that car uh, and get on the church. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, if you look at Hebrews, uh, he always talked about you can't escape. Uh, hold on. Uh, hallelujah. Forsake not the symbol. Uh, yourself together uh, as some of the amount of art. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and see, when you lose your confidence, uh, you begin to stay home. Uh, hallelujah. Because uh, there ain't no hope. Uh, why I'm going to church for? Hallelujah. Nobody don't need me. I ain't doing nothing. Why I'm going to church for? Hallelujah. Uh, what God have done for you lately? Did he give you some children? Everybody here got child. Then God gave you some children. Hallelujah to God. You about to run like the shooter might woman before your child die. They fail to realize, uh, hallelujah. Uh, but the shooter might want hold on uh, when the prophet told him that, hallelujah. And this sometimes, uh, see, God, look at him. See, God is awesome. Uh, hallelujah. The prophet didn't know that the son died. Uh, hallelujah. God hid it from him. Certain things men of God can't see. Uh, only God see. Uh, he want to see, do you have confidence in the man that I sent the man? Uh, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, hallelujah. See, see, the confidence is not in the man. It's in God. Hallelujah to God. But you got to understand, if you believe in a man that God sent, you got to have confidence. Don't he speak a word in your life? You got to believe. Just say the Lord. Hallelujah. She came. The prophet said, what is her problem? What is it? I don't know. God has showed me nothing. The servant said, her son died. Hallelujah to God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Now, he come to test him. She took take the child. He told him take the boy home uh, and put him in the room that you made for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> Didn't know. <laughs> if you think about it, beloved, uh, she made a room for her son anyway. Do you even know she made a room for her son in the boat? Just let me, let, me, let me throw you something out here. Hallelujah to God. When Jonah got on the ship, hallelujah, don't you know the people that was on the ship suffered with him and had nothing to do with the matter? See, so nothing to do with the matter. See, that's what it is. That's what it is. See, see, I can get on your ship. You ain't got nothing to do. Huh? But God, you be hurt. God going to whip you because he whipped me. I hope you understand what I'm saying. God going to whoop you because I'm on the ship. He ain't got nothing to do with it. He's whooping you because I'm on the ship. Y'all ain't had nothing to do with it. Nothing, nothing. Y'all had nothing to do with it. Because I'm on the ship, y'all going to suffer. She don't lose confidence. Don't lose confidence. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. But you're going to be saved, though. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you're going to go through, but you're going to be saved, though. Yes, God ain't going to kill you because I'm on the ship. <laughs> He's going to make sure. <laughs> but you get to take out what you catch on what's going on here. <laughs> the, the people on the ship try to save the man in the bottom of the ship. So you about to try to save me. I wish you get If you save me, God save you. That's how it works now. If you save me, God will save you. Why? Because 
I'm the man that God called. But I got to suffer. We got to suffer, man. Yes, Lord. We coming up, but we got to suffer. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm so sorry. Got to suffer. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you understand. I wish you see what I see here. I wish you understand. You ain't by yourself. You got. We got to do it together here. <laughs> but the Bible said, I came to the shit of my woman and took her and put in the prophet room. Prophet came in there. He walked right in there. He turned his face to the Lord. He said, Lord, I know you told me. See, you got, you got to learn this here. If I speak a word in your life and God don't do it, it looks like he didn't do it, I have to turn my face back to the wall. And ask God, did you tell me to tell Nicky Terry's face? Did you tell me to tell him? You told me to tell him that. Then why did it son die? Yes, 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 yes. So I can prove to you and him I'm the one that do everything. Thank you, Jesus. you don't run nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We don't run nothing. Jesus. God run everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't, we don't run nothing. I don't run nothing. God run everything. Yes. I got to an answer to him. Yes, then I got to tell you why you had confidence in the man that told you to tell you that. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. The Bible said, the Papa laid on the sun. Put his hand. See, he had a strap. He stretched out on. Then he said something. Then the Bible said, he took the boy arm and stretched him out. He put his hand on his hand. Eyes on his nose and lay right on top of him. Seven times. I let you know. I let you know. God can bring any death back. But you can't lose confidence. And sometimes you suffer because you're in the ship. Sometimes death hits your door. That's too deep for y'all. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch out on the prophet. I'm going to lay right there on what God said. Hallelujah to God. Seven times. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. See, sometimes, see, see, you understand this. When I lay before God, nobody can't be with me. Not my children, not my wife. I got to lay before God myself. Hallelujah to God. So God can heal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got labor God. Yes. See, but but, but y'all gotta make sure y'all fight for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gotta make sure you fight for me though. Yes, so I can labor for the Lord. Yes, sir. I'm not nothing special, but I'm the special. Yes, sir. I wish I can lay on top of all y'all. 
for that cake. I wish I could. But I ain't going to stand up. I ain't promise. The boy woke up alive. Hallelujah to God. And guess what? He never heard nothing from the husband. She was married. I'm going to throw something to you you might don't like. It wasn't the man that did it neither. It was a woman. That's right, Bishop. That's right, Bishop. <laughs> Not the one to preach. The one that had to come. She the one. Don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me no lie. Because I didn't ask for nothing. You volunteered to tell me that. See, when you serve the Lord, the scripture is right. He will give you the desire of your heart. She desired to have a child, but she never said it. The servant just read her heart. She was without child because every woman wanted a child back in them days. They don't want nothing now. I had to mess up then. I always mess up something. I was crying and went to ground. <laughs> we went to crying and went to frown. Then we instant. Then we <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going back because I'm still crying. I can't help from crying. The Lord is upon me. Yeah, Amen. Lord, Hallelujah to God. Yes, it was a woman. The husband didn't say nothing. We can learn something, millions. When a woman trying to serve a prophet, keep your mouth shut. That's right. If a woman That's right. trying to serve a prophet, you means keep your mouth shut. Time somebody do something for me, somebody got something to say. He don't need that. He already got that. You don't know what I need. It's not a point what I need. It's what you need. It's not what I need. It's what you need. I'm going to be blessed regardless. Because I ain't, I ain't drawing back. So I ain't worrying about that. I believe. I'm going to the promised land. I mean, He's going to come and he won't tarry. He come to get me. And God's coming to get me. He's coming to get me. He's coming, he's coming to get me. He's coming to get me. I'm not drawing back to petition. I'm not drawing back. Because you don't believe? Because you don't believe? No. I don't need 12. I need two. Ain't that something? Wait, two. Touching in the green. That's all we need. We need no 12. There's two of us touching in the green. He said, I will be in the midst. They take care of the needy one. I don't need all y'all. Y'all ain't got to believe. I just need. Just me and my wife can believe. Me and my sister can believe. Me and sister wife. We and sister team. We can, we can believe. We got enough. We got, we don't, we don't believe. We got enough here to believe. We can believe. We're touching the grid. We believe. In the name of the, the Lord, Savior Jesus. Jesus. The name of God, we believe. We're not drawing back to no petition. I'm holding on. I'm holding on to God confident. Believe God. Believe God. Believe to God. We're going to make it. You ain't going to make it. You ain't going to get well. You, man, I don't need that. That from you? I don't need that from none of y'all. Don't don't text me. Don't tell me you ain't gonna get away. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't care if death is on the door. I still, I still got enough time to go lay on top. I still got to lay on that death. Hallelujah to God. 
I can lay on you, baby. I can lay on you, Chris. I can lay on you, baby. I can lay on you. Stretch out on the phone. The devil time. He know he time. Hallelujah. You can hear from one thing. Here come another. Here, here come another. He said, wherefore, remember the old. Hallelujah. We were gang star. Illuminated, had it. Hallelujah. Remember all of that. Now, since you've seen all that, then cast that, therefore, your confidence. If I put Paul out, I can bring you out. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. God is the same, man. If you lose your confidence in God, I don't care. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what humans say. I don't care what man say. I do not care. Hallelujah. I go with God say. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. The yeah. man and the devil mean it for bad. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody looking through the window. Had they got up yet? <laughs> what he can tell is the problem. He, he, every time I turn around, he ain't got well yet. What you looking through the window for? Why are you looking all through the window for? You looking all through the window, trying to trying to see what people are doing. Like, Why are you looking all through the window for? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Your window might be closed, but 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 sickness in there. It just haven't rised up in you yet. But it's in your house. When it rise up, I don't want you to run to the window and try to open it. Let me tell you something. Sick, you sick. That don't mean you ain't blessed. I get that thing twisted. Sick, you sick. That don't mean you ain't blessed, bro. The bless them all of them is sick. It's blessed. You bet. Yeah. See, don't wicked folks are like they never die. Like they live forever, longevity. They live the longest, longest, longest. Never get sick. They work every day. You got sick leave and use it all up in one month. All in one month. They got they got four, five months vacation. What you talking about? They retire and still got six months uh, vacation, so they retire six months early because they still get paid because they got they got use other vacation time. We so sick, we ain't got no time. <laughs> but that don't mean we ain't blessed. A little bit. That don't mean we ain't blessed because we could just we got a little light of affliction. We gang stock anyway. <laughs> we like sheep for the slaughter. The Bible says you are killed all day long. But we are more than a conqueror. Through Christ that strengthens us. But I am persuaded. I let nothing. Jesus said I am persuaded. I ain't going to let nothing separate us from the love of God. Jesus said he's going to let nothing separate his love from us. No persecution, no trials, no pers, no sports, nothing. No height, no depth, nothing going to separate us from the love of God. Ain't that something? How can you lose confidence in somebody that love you when you don't love them? Ain't that something? God loves us so much. When you don't even do right. When you don't even act right. And you don't even be right. He still let nothing separate us. But how we can lose confidence into something like that. 
Don't lose confidence. Don't you doubt God's ability. He genuine. You can put it to the bank. He will make sure he'll take care of you. Yes, he will. Don't y'all lose y'all confidence in God. That in man, in God. Solomon said we all going to be caught in the net. The race ain't given to the swift. Not even to the battle to the strong. Not even to the wisest. Not even to the skillful one. Not even to the one who got all the knowledge. But the Bible says he that endures, the one that endures to the end. Some of it is going in on broken pieces. Do you hear me now? Hallelujah. Some of us coming in on broken pieces. But we stand on that ship. If I stay on the ship, I don't care what part of the ship breaks off, long as it's part of the ship. Because you sure going to run a shore. You're going to run a ground. Because you're in the middle of the sea. Can you hear me now? You're in the middle of the sea. You're going to run a ground. You're going to run a ground. You can't escape from running a ground. And once you run a ground, all hell going to break a loose. Yes, sir. Because when you run aground, it breaks up the whole ship. Yes, sir. And it look like we scattered. But we ain't scattered. Because all of us got a piece of the ship. Yes, right, right. 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 You know what I'm saying? And it look like we scattered because we don't ran aground. Right. And we are all over the place. But we still are holding on to the part of the ship. And guess what? In order to get to shore, the ship part got to come too. Because that's the only thing keeping you afloat. The part of the ship, you got to get to shore. Only person that know that swim, I think Paul did. Because the rest of them had a swim who could swim. Even the ones, the enemy made it because they still a part of the ship. He told them. When they started, when they sent that lifeboat on the side, they dropped it down. Paul, hey, you better buy it in the ship. You better get back on up in this ship. They got, they got right on back up there. They got right on back up there. And everybody. Everybody was saved. <coughs> Saints, get in the ship. Don't lose confidence in God. I don't care what it look like. I don't care if death hits your door. Don't lose confidence in God. God will make sure that you be saved. But don't be the one who draw back. Don't get so caught up into your sickness and your problem that you don't trust God no more. They'll do that. Don't let nobody draw you back. Nobody. Keep your confidence in God. May God bless you. Have a nice night. shook my head and said no, but I might take rephrase that back. Somebody might need to leave and lay on them. Oh, Lord. Anybody need prayer before I leave here today in the name of Jesus Christ? I'm not going to 